What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Carpenter's Apprentice, powered by La Prensa, Texas. Today, we are here at South Slice Pizzeria with... What's up, what's up, Gabriel Mendoza? Brother, how did you come up with the idea to do this? Um, so, I've always had a passion for uh, baking and cooking, and one year, a bunch of my friends uh, pitched in, and they got me uh, a uni. It's a wood fire pizza oven, and I started tinkering with that one, and then... COVID hit and I had a lot of time. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start baking and you know, making pizzas. And then for a while, it was just for my friends and family. And then a buddy of mine, uh, he was like, why don't you try selling them? If you if you make me one, I'll, I'll pay for it. So I was like, all right, cool. And I was doing it out of my uh, conventional oven inside on some uh, brick, uh, brick stones. And then after that, I started picking up, picking up. So then I had, uh, I bought this one out of Victoria, Texas. I had my buddy, uh, my buddy Alejandro build me this this trailer rack and everything and then he set it on there for me and then since then i've been rocking with this one where do you want to take this actually i mean i've always i have a couple buddies that all work for themselves and one day i would like to be my own boss you know i'd like to go with it i mean i don't want to be one of those people that uh maybe i should have could have would have like if i'm gonna do it and it doesn't happen it doesn't happen but at least i can say you know what i rode with it for a while until it did you know Brother, I want to encourage you with all my heart to follow your dream and to, to chase that passion and don't let anybody be your pimp. Nobody wants to be a hoe. We got to be realistic when we tell people like, hey, yeah, go chase your dreams, but there is hard work attached. Yeah. It does get hard sometimes because you don't have, you know, a crew of 13 people, 15 people helping you, you know, prep and everything. But at the end of the day, you know, it's well worth it. So now the biggest thing is consistency with me because there was a time where I was popping and it was getting, you know, every weekend, every weekend, and then it started slowing down. And then sometimes I wouldn't sell slots as much as I would. Um, and that would get discouraging because I was like, man, you know, maybe it's losing the momentum. Maybe people aren't liking it. But I never got bad reviews seeing, you know, something that, that I make and people, you know, commenting saying, hey, man, this shit was bad. It was good. You know, I like seeing that because it's something that I made. I put, you know, my hard work into it and, you know, they're able to take it home and enjoy it. Man, one of the things that your wife mentioned that I thought was really cool was she talked about the community support and not just like the community at large, but she said specifically the subdivision oh, yeah. that people have really stepped mm -hmm. up, showed out, and they've come to mm -hmm. support. Talk to me a little bit about that. So the Loma Mesa subdivision that I stay out of, they're real, real big on supporting each other, whether it's, you know, somebody baking good, somebody having their own, you know, uh, business, you know, trying to start off, you know, not just a subdivision, but I can say the South Side is a big, you know a big supporter in my business um they see everyone you know you go to school with them you hang out with them you see them at you know bars you know barbecues so like you know they want to help out this guy versus yeah, yeah. you know the the big chains which is good you know i i i uh i appreciate that everyone was always you know bought for me from the beginning and continue to buy for me uh, i appreciate the support you know it like it says you know on the facebook post you're not helping buy a yacht for a ceo you know yeah. you're helping my son you know get clothes you helping you know me get food you know stuff like that so it's really good to know that my community you know despite what other people say about the south side if you're not from here you might not know it but the south side supports its own papa before we go two things uh, number one how can people get a hold of you guys or already um uh, facebook and instagram under south slice pizzeria and last question same question i ask everybody else what is one life lesson you've learned in your life that folks at home can use in theirs everyone has their you know their faults downfalls don't get discouraged uh, learn from it keep going and keep pushing you know try to be better than you were yesterday sir thank you very much for your time i very much appreciate it over here David, for you folks at home i want to say thank you to americana to la prensa and for you for watching we'll see you next time